Welcome back everyone to complete TSA placement series with C++. We are solving some great questions in backtracking and today is the turn of N Queen's problem. So let us begin with the question right away. Let us look what is given in the question. You can see it's a hard question and today we are going to solve this question. So I am too excited to give you the solution. So what is given? We are given an N Queen's puzzle. Okay. And we have a problem of placing N Queens. Okay. N number of Queens in N cross N chessboard. Okay. Such that no two Queens attack each other. So I will just give you an example of uh, N cross N board. Okay. Suppose N is equal to 4. Then we will have n cross n board that is uh, n number of four number of rows and four number of columns so suppose this is our board we need to place n queens if a queen is placed over here let us say if a queen is placed over here so it can attack in all eight directions that is horizontally vertically diagonally okay this in this diagonal as well as in this diagonal so there are there are eight directions in which a queen can attack that is up down right left towards the top left bottom right top right and bottom right okay sorry bottom left so yes, it can attack in all eight directions. So suppose a queen is placed over here. Where will I place the next queen? Just guess, where can I place the next queen? Because this, okay, this whole line is gone. Okay, this whole line is gone. This is gone over here. And you see this whole line is also gone. gone. You can see. The next queen can be placed over here okay and in this manner we need to place two more queens such that no queen can attack each other so another key queen can be placed over here okay and then we'll uh, have fourth queen so this way we need to solve for n queens okay if there are eight and if n is 8 then we will have 8 cross 8 board that is a board with 64 cells and we will have 8 queens that uh, we need to put okay and we have we can have more than one solutions so the question over here says the question over here says to return all distinct solutions of n queens puzzle and it can be in any order okay and in each solution it will contain a distinct board configurations of n queen placement okay where q will indicate a queen and uh, the dot okay or the period will indi indicate empty space so yes now that the question is clear to us let us move towards our approach what will be that just think about the approach what will be approach for this question suppose that we have a bo board okay we have board something like this and suppose that i have i already have a queen over here okay so what if i place a queen over here can i place a queen over here no i cannot okay now can i place a queen over here no i cannot because uh, the queen is over here and it can easily attack the an uh, another queen okay but the condition over here says that no queen should be able to attack one another okay so we can say that each row or each column should have only one queen okay at most one queen but over here there is a catch here we have n number of queens okay so to accommodate 
all n number of queens each row should have one queen as well as each column should have one queen so yes with this we will satisfy our condition of not at getting attacked horizontally or vertically so first rule will be each row will have one queen each column will have one queen and the third rule will be it will not be able to attack the previous one okay so the next queen next queen should not be should not be able to attack any of the previous ones and with these three rules we can think about an approach so just pause the video and think come up with an approach i hope you have paused the video so over here a simple approach can be that we each row should have one queen and each column should have one queen so we can either iterate through rows or we can iterate through columns and in each column we can check for each row if the queen can be placed on that particular row and if can it can be placed we will place the queen and then we will explore the option of adding that queen on that particular place if it matches then we will just push our uh, output into answer okay store our current value of our board into answer and this way will go on and on so let us talk about it in detail let us talk about column 1 over here okay so in column 1 a queen can be placed over here over here over here and over here so we have four options of placing a queen actually i have drawn only three rows okay let me just draw an arrow over here okay so we have four options let us talk about option number 1 so let us say i have this particular chess board over here with four rows and four columns i place a queen over here right over here so now comes now comes the second column okay now comes the second column so in second column what can i do can i place queen over here no can i place queen over here no it will attack it uh, attack the previous one will attack diagonally can i place over here yes can i place it over here can i place another queen over here yes i can so i have two options with me okay either to place a queen let me just draw a chess board for you and then place the queen so after placing first queen we have two options for placing second queen okay so yes this is the second option now let us explore let us explore this particular option so after second queen we go we move towards third row okay can i place the queen over here no i cannot can i place it at this position Yes I can place the third queen at this position okay can i place it over here no can i place it over here no so i have only one option to place my third queen okay so first queen lies over here okay at the first cell okay at 0 comma 0 then second queen lies over here we have we have our third queen actually we cannot uh, place the third queen also i i did not see i missed out okay 
sorry so over here this queen the previous queen can attack diagonally and it can also attack the previous queen diagonally so we are left with no options okay we are left with no options and thus we will backtrack so over here we will backtrack and before backtracking we will revert our solution so we will just remove the queen from here then we will explore the second option so when i explore the second option i'll just make changes over here itself in this particular chessboard so i have a queen over here in the third column i can can i place you can just ask yourself can i place the queen over here no is this the right position actually this queen will attack in this manner so yes this is the right position okay so i will place the queen over here but what about the fourth queen okay after this okay this uh, both of these places are gone so we are left with only one option okay but after adding third queen uh, the fourth queen will not be added okay cannot be added this position is blocked this position is blocked even this position is blocked due to diagonal attack and even this position is blocked due to horizontal attack so we have two kinds of attack over here either horizontal or diagonal okay so yes we need to take care of two attacks and over here no queen since there is no uh, configuration in which like which will allow placing this particular queen at this particular corner we will backtrack okay we will backtrack you see as all options are explored and there is no other option so we will backtrack from here now we have another option okay we need to explore another option of placing the queen in second row first column uh, but we will place the queen in second row so let us say i place the queen over here so when i place the queen over here after placing the queen that it's time for second column okay so in second column let's say we have a a, a very tiny column over here and i will just add a row over here okay so after placing the the first one it's turn for the second column can i place over here no can i place over here no can i place over here no can i place over here yes i can place over here so i have only one option left of placing the queen in second column so yes i have placed the queen over here now it's the turn for my third column so i'll recursively call it for third column now i will just check row by row by row okay so over here there are no queens so can i place over here yes i can place over here here it's blocked this position is blocked due to a diagonal attack and this one due to horizontal attack so i have only one option over here and what about the fourth queen so fourth queen this option is blocked due to horizontal attack this position is blocked due to horizontal attack even this position last position is blocked due to horizontal attack but i have third position free so i can place over here and afterwards i will call okay i afterwards i'll call for another column but now the pointer will go outside and whenever the pointer goes outside the board we need to store the solution okay it's time to store the solution because we have found out a solution and in this way we will also find out another configuration of this n queens okay in this particular recursive tree so let us say this is our board okay yes yeah, so this is our board and this is one more solution to n queens problem so we have two solution in a four cross four board and this way n can be anything so over here what will be our base condition 
when the column goes outside okay so when column is greater than or equal to actually when it is equal to equal to n at that point of time what we need to do is we need to store our board in our answer so answer dot push b o a r d board okay so yes we have stored our board over here do we have any condition that when column is outside or when row is outside no we have only one condition and what will be our recursive case recursive case will be that we will solve for one column and recursively call the function for another column okay so we will have for int i equal to 0 i less than n as there are n rows and n columns so i less than n i plus plus okay i plus plus and then we will have a condition okay we will just have a function if we can add if we can add queen at ith row and jth column in our board let me just drop this off and okay so if it can be added in ith row jth column in our board with n rows and n columns okay if it can be added we will add it so board of i comma j not j but c o l column okay board of row comma column will be equal to our queen it will be equal to our queen and then we will recursively call our function afterwards we will just backtrack so to backtrack we need to revert the changes board of column equal to a period okay so yes this is our recursive case and we are done with our solution now what will be in our recursive function let us see okay we'll have only four things over here first of all we'll have our board then we will have our answer where we will store our solution we will have a column and we'll have n okay that is number of rows and number of columns and over here board board can be passed as a reference and this one can also be passed this one should be passed as reference otherwise column will be a copy and n can also be a copy okay so now let us move to the lead code and write our solution so here we are into our lead code okay over here you see that we need to give answer in the form of vector of vector strings so our rows will be in the form of strings okay and array of all these strings would form a matrix okay you can just visualize in your mind okay we have strings and all strings are stacked one by one so they are forming a matrix over here and this okay array we need to written array of matrices so first of all we will uh, declare a variable for our answer vector vector string answer okay now we will have our matrix so vector string now what will be the length number of rows in that particular matrix we will have n number of rows so we will just pass n over here okay build a matrix of strings okay n number of strings and whose name will be equal to board now we will declare a string okay string s which will be will declare a string which will be equal to n number of characters and all n characters will contain a period okay so yes now we are building the columns okay so after building columns or after building a single row we will just um, add it okay we will just add it to our matrix over here so for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus 
board of I will be equal to S. And thus we have created a matrix of n number of periods, okay, string with n number of periods and that way we will have n number of strings. So yes, we are done with creating our board, we are done with creating our variable answer. Now, first of all, let us have our solution. So we will have a void function, void solve. It will take two parameters, vector, vector, string, answer, vector. First of all, it will take vector string ampersand, vector string ampersand board. Then it will take vector, vector, string, ampersand, answer. Then it will take int column. And then it will take int n. Okay. Now, we need to have a base condition over here. So, what will be base condition if column is equal to equal to n. At that point of time, column is out of the matrix and thus we need to push our answer. Okay. Push our board into our answer. So, push back. Push back. P-O-A-R-D. Board. And then we need to simply return. Okay, so this is the base condition. Now, let us check. Let us check for the recursive condition. So, I will just comment it out over here. Recursive. Recursive. Case. For int i equal to 0. I am not uh, making it equal to row. Or let us make it equal to row. Int row equal to 0. Row less than less than n row plus plus now we'll just have a function if can add okay we'll think about this function in later part but, but let us have this function for now okay can add we need to add a queen at a particular row in a particular column with a board which is having n rows and n columns okay so we have this can add function. Okay, if we can add, then we will just write over here board row column equal to Q. So character add board row column is equal to Q. Then we will have will call solve function. Okay, and thus we will just explore the option of adding the Q or Queen at that particular row and that particular column. So over here, what we will pass? We will pass board. Then we will pass answer. Okay. Then we will pass column plus one. So we will move forward and we will pass N. And then after exploring the option, we will backtrack. So to backtrack, we need to revert our answer. So yes, this is our recursive case. Now, talking about can add function. So let us move to the board and over here talk about can add function. Okay, I will just move to another page. Okay, so over here we have a queen. Suppose we have all these columns. Okay, and there's a queen over here. And there are eight directions which we need to check up, down, left, right, top left, top right, bottom left and bottom left and bottom right. So yes, we need to check eight directions, but just uh, answer me very carefully. If we are adding queens in this particular manner. Is there any need to check any queen that is in this direction? Okay. Availability of any queen in this direction? No, we don't need to check. Okay. And thus, we don't need to check. We don't need to check for these. We don't need to check for this and for this. So, three directions are gone. Do we need to check in the same column? Because we are adding only one queen in one column. And we are checking that through our function. 
no we don't need to check so this is gone and this is go gone so only thing left only directions left with us are this this and this okay towards the left towards our top left and towards our bottom left so we need to check over here so uh, when we check over here what do we do what do we do over here row will be as it is row will be as it is but column will be column minus 1 and will keep on decreasing the column until we don't reach minus 1 right when we reach minus 1 will return or will not run the loop now over here what will be our condition the condition is that row is getting increased so the value of row will be increased to row plus 1 and the value of column column will be column minus 1 we are moving towards the left so column will be column minus 1 over here row will be row minus 1 okay because we are moving up so row will be row minus 1 and column will be column minus 1 let us say row is i so it will be i minus 1 okay and column will be j minus 1 so this way we have found out three conditions and now let us move to our lead code and write all these three conditions in our can add function so we will have a function a boolean function before our solution so let us say we have a bool okay bool and the Function's name will be can add int row int column vector string ampersand board and we'll have we will have vector string ampersand board and int n. Okay, so let us have two integers over here int i comma j now first of all let us check towards our left okay or in the left row so for left row left row let us initialize i okay with row and j with column minus one okay so it will start from the previous position and it will go until column is greater than or equal to 0 until column is greater than or equal to 0 let me just have a space in between okay whoops sorry not over here but over here okay so it will just check if board board not column greater than equal to 0 actually j greater than equal to 0 board i j if board i j is equal to equal to q if it is equal to equal to q then we cannot add so we will return false okay and then if uh, the condition is false then the j j's value will decrease okay will be decreased if it is true then from over here only it will return back okay it will return false no need to check for further condition because first condition only doesn't satisfy so yes this is for left row now let us check for upper diagonal so for upper diagonal the row will be equal to sorry i will be equal to row minus one and j will also be equal to column minus one now we will have two conditions over here while while i is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to zero and j is greater than or equal to zero while both are greater than or equal to zero we need to check if word i j is equal to equal to queen is equal to equal to queen then we will return false okay else we will just decrease the value of i and decrease the value of 
j now we need to check for lower diagonal okay remember over here the value of j will always decrease okay because we are checking towards the left so i will be equal to rho plus 1 and j will be equal to column minus 1 now we will check while while i is while i is less than n okay over here i should be less than n and j is greater than or equal to 0 till that point we need to run the loop so board i j equal to equal to q and will return false over here and afterwards we'll just write i plus plus j minus minus so yes if any none of these conditions okay if none of these conditions break then of course we can add the queen okay we haven't found any queen in our path so we can add our queen and thus we can return true so the default condition over here will be to return true so yes we have return whole solution and now let us write our main function complete our main function actually so we'll call solve okay first of all we need to pass we need to pass board answer column and end so we'll pass board then we'll pass answer then we'll pass zero as column value and n and afterwards we will return our answer so yes we are returning back our answer and now let us check if we aren't missing out something so i will just check over here we are passing board answer zero n and we are accepting board answer okay over here I need to give this bracket okay angular bracket column and n we have a recursive case 0 n and rho plus plus and we have a solution we are first of all adding q and then we are removing okay I need to add a semicolon over here and then we'll have a can add function so yes initialization is done perfectly then we have our condition and okay everything seems right over here right over here and correct over here also okay so let us run our code and check okay it's accepted now let us submit our code i cannot see anything over here okay i'll just expand this yes yippee it has been accepted so yes this was the solution now what if I say that the solution can be optimized a little bit? Okay, I am talking about this particular function. Okay, this particular function of checking if a queen can be added or not. How? Let us move to the board. So we are into our board again. And let us say that we have a grid. Okay let us say that this is our grid whoops i will just rub it and draw it so yes we have a five cross five grid over here and let me just write the numbers row numbers and column numbers zero one two three four and zero one two three four okay suppose we have a queen over here okay suppose we want to add our queen over here so we need to check if the same queen is placed in the same row okay in the same row or suppose we need to place a queen over here we need to check if any same queen is placed over here in the same row how we will check let us say let us say instead of going with for loop we have an array okay we have an array which is maintained we have five positions over here zero one two three and four okay suppose we have added a queen over here we have added a queen over here 
and we want to add over here so after adding a queen over here we will just make okay we'll just make the value at this one index first index as one other values will be zero so suppose we want to add a queen over here we'll first check if there is no queen previously present in this particular row how we can check we can just call the index okay we can just access the element at this index if it's zero then the queen is not present if it is one then the queen is present in the same row yes very easy right so we can maintain an array for this particular row to check for row what about upper and lower diagonal actually we can do it for upper and lower diagonal also let us check how so let me just rub off everything okay i will just rub this off and then just over here we'll just uh, we'll just have uh, addition okay addition of rows and columns so 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 then we have 2 3 and 4 now what is 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 uh, 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 is 4 and 1 plus 4 is 5 and I will add all other numbers similar so yes I have added all the like I have done the addition of rows and columns into all the cells now can you see a pattern over here you see that all fours in this diagonal we have same number in this diagonal same number in this diagonal same number in this this and we have unique numbers in all diagonals right we have unique numbers from we have unique numbers from 0 till 8 okay so what can be done see suppose i have let us say let us say that i place a queen over here okay right over here so when i place a queen over here when i place a queen over here i will just have one more array okay one more array that will have actually that should have how many number of elements uh, over here the the values are going from 0 to 8 so as they are going from 0 to 8 it should have 9 number of it should have space to contain 9 number of elements ok 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 ok so it should have place to contain 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 this is for upper diagonal so if I place a queen over here ok at third position i will just mark one at this position so if i want to place a queen over here i will just check out in this particular array so if it is one then i will return otherwise if it is zero okay if it is false then i will uh, add the queen over there and then i'll explore further so yes we have found an array for upper diagonal now what about the lower diagonal so what we had for upper diagonal we had row plus column okay row plus column now we want similar thing for uh, lower diagonal so we can just have column minus row or row minus column okay so if we have row minus column then over here you see over here it will be 0 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 actually in the previous one we had done for the lower diagonal okay this one is for lower diagonal so we had done for lower diagonal and now we are doing for upper diagonal so I have just misplaced the terms and pardon me for that so yes we are looking for upper diagonal so you see that over here you will get all zeros right 
you will get all same things over here now over here it will be 1 minus 0 so it will be 1 2 minus 1 it will be 1 then 3 minus 2 it will be 1 okay over here it will be 1 but over here you will get minus 1 right you will get minus 1 and over here okay if it's over here then it will be 0 minus 4 but we don't have indices in minus so what can be done can we just uh, can we just add something over here yes actually we can what if I add 4 to minus 4 it will be 0 what if I add 4 to minus 3 it will be 1 right so what can I do is I can add n minus 1 in my column minus row and this is my formula for lower diagonal sorry the upper diagonal okay to check the values in upper diagonal so I'll just put all the values of upper diagonal okay let me just remove all these values and put for put all the values for upper for the for the cells okay okay so over here 0 minus 0 is 0 plus 4 will be 4 okay 1 minus 1 is 0 so over here we will have all 4s now over here 1 okay 1 minus 0 is 1 plus okay 1 plus n minus 1 is equal to 5 so we have 5s all over here then we have similarly 6 here we have 7 here we have 8 okay over here 0 minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 plus 4 is 3 so we have threes all over here then we have twos if you are aren't getting it then you can just pause the video and think how I have got the values okay and over here I will get a zero so you see that now all the values in this diagonal are same all the values over here are same all the values over here are same so similarly okay similar to what we created previously we need to create an array again having that will contain nine number of elements okay it will contain nine number of elements and now what if we place something at a queen at five so it will be one two three sorry zero one two three four and five so we'll mark one over here okay and suppose suppose there we need we want to place a queen over here we want to explore this option so it will just check if a queen is placed over here or not if it is placed then it will not place otherwise it will place the queen over here okay and similarly other values can be mapped so yes for both upper and lower diagonal we need to create a matrix of nine elements if the case is five okay so we can say can can we say that we need to create uh, we need to uh, it goes from 0 to 8 okay the highest value will be 2 into n highest value will be 2 into n sorry the highest addition will not be equal to 2 into n but 2 into n minus 1 okay so it will be 2 into n minus 1 and we need to have as all the things start from 0 over here so we need to add 1 when we are considering the size so it will be 2 into n minus 1 plus 1 and thus it will be 2 n minus 2 plus 1 that is again equal to 2 n minus 1 so we need to create an array of 2n minus 1 elements for upper as well as lower diagonal for left row we need to create an array of n minus 1 elements sorry n number of elements actually so yes let us move to lead code and write our solution over there so here we are at in our lead code let me just uh, collapse this window right over here okay and I will move down okay so over here I need to create three things 
first of all I'll create a vector bool I will create a boolean over here vector bool left row left row and it will have n number of elements and all elements will initially be false now we'll have another vector vector bool and I will have upper diagonal upper diagonal upper diagonal and it will be of 2 into n minus 1 elements and initially all the elements will be false another vector will be for lower diagonal so I will just copy and paste it over here so it will be lower diagonal and 2 into n minus 1 and false okay so I will pass this left row left row upper diagonal so I will just copy this and I will paste it over here and I will copy this and paste it right over here so yes I have passed left row upper diagonal as well as lower diagonal now I need to have this okay over here it's also so I will just copy all these things I will paste it over here and I will format it for you so I need to have uh, the reference of this vector okay over here also I can have reference of this vector let me first uh, take all these into a single line okay and I will just clear this even okay so I have passed all the arguments correctly m percent upper diagonal vector pool m percent upper diagonal so yes everything is passed correctly and I will have m percent over here so we'll have column then we'll have left row upper diagonal and lower diagonal now we can just have after adding q we can just write lower diagonal sorry left row and over here we'll pass row and we'll have true equal to true then uh, we'll have the upper diagonal so what logic we had in upper diagonal n minus 1 plus column minus row so we'll just write that same logic over here let me just copy and paste all the things okay so upper diagonal upper diagonal n minus 1 n minus 1 plus column minus row will be equal to true and we have column plus row in lower diagonal so lower diagonal lower diagonal column minus row is equal to true great so we have returned the things for uh, adding it now we need all we also need to revert the changes after exploring the functions so we will just revert back all the changes okay over here also and let us pass all the things in this function call even so I'll pass function for left row then we'll pass for upper diagonal and then for lower diagonal okay are we doing it in a correct order yes upper diagonal and then lower diagonal so row upper diagonal and lower diagonal and now we don't need this can add function so let us remove it okay just make sure you aren't removing any brackets when you are removing this okay so yes we have removed this and now we need to check the condition so we will just write not not left row not of left row so if left row anything in left row is false not of that will give true so not of left row row 
ampersand ampersand not off not off upper diagonal i'll copy simply copy this value and paste it over here and i will copy another value and paste it in the if condition okay so yes i have pasted all the conditions let us check if it is correct uh, okay i think this condition is wrong so it will be column not column minus row but column plus row over here it should be column plus row and over here also it should be column plus row okay and now it is i think it will work let us run the code and check okay it has been accepted now let us submit our code superb i think it has been accepted so yes it has been accepted so you see that it is 3 milliseconds and it beats 88.20 percentage of users so yes this was about n queens problem first of all we looked into the problem we solved it using backtracking and then we have we had optimized our approach so that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session with another problem that is on sudokus that we solve daily so till then keep learning and keep growing